uh, you said that when COVID hit, you decided you wanted to start training, maybe harder to make something of yourself in that context to compete. Tell me about your parkour journey, where you started, when you started, and then tie that into COVID and then your training. And then, of course, we'll come back to Black Panther. So I was a gymnast for most of my life. My coach was extremely emotionally abusive. She would call me names. You're not supposed to call people of color. She would curse at me, yell at me. I'm just a child. Yeah, it was bad. It was horrible. And I dealt with it for years, for years. And I was just too afraid to say anything because, like, she scared the mess out of me. I don't want her to hate me even more. But eventually, I, I just knew it wasn't right. And I had to tell like my family what was going on and it was just a whole mess and I ended up having to quit gymnastics and I was probably going to go pro at it but I just ended up quitting because she made me hate the sport and I was just so scared to do it anymore so I was on YouTube one day and I saw a video of Jesse LaFlair doing a wall flip and I was like what is that and I go outside and I try it and I give myself a concussion it's not fun no but way I think that's <laughs> I bought me up. I know day one. I saw the YouTube video. I was like, I can do this. I was like, I was a gymnast. This is easy. It was not. Absolutely died. So, but after my concussion, I was like in the bed. I was like, I can actually probably do this. So I bought a mat off Amazon. I used my family's cars in their front yard and I would slip off their cars using YouTube um, tutorials to teach myself how to flip. And I'm just like, Flipping all the time, they got sick of me because I dented their cars and messed some of them up. It was bad, but they they were supportive after a while. But um, so I started training every day after school. I would go flip outside, and then I found some gyms in my area, and I would start training with people, and I would just be training all the time, trying to get better. I competed at the USA Parkour Cup in 2019 is my first ever competition after training for like about two or three years and I ended up winning and so I was like Ooh, okay it's like maybe we're on to something so I started training harder and harder and then COVID hit and everything shut down and I was so mad because I was like oh I'm starting to get to a place where I was really good all the gyms shut down so all my progression it's just it stopped and so I was trying to figure out a way like what I could do. So there's a trampoline park that I go to and they were so nice enough to just let me have the key and let me go in and train whenever I want. Yeah. I, Cause I was Whoa. begging. I was like, I was like, guys, like I need to get these skills. <laughs> like I, I need a safe place to practice. Cause I practice out in my backyard, but sometimes I need to, you know, land on my neck and learn something really quick. I was like, I don't want to do that on grass outside. So they were extremely nice enough to let me still come and just have the place to myself and train as much as I wanted to. So I would start training every morning. Like as soon as I helped my family out and knew everyone was good, I would leave to go train for like an hour or two, come back, take care of my family. And I was just training all the time, getting better, started sending like really hard stuff. So I was like, like I was doing soups, swing casts, all like hard lines, everything. And I was just getting ready to apply for Red Bull Art of Motion. So I was like, this is a, finally the year I was going to make it. Cause I was like, I'm getting good. I got it. And then I got the call for Black Panther and it just sidetracked everything. Cause I was like, Red Bull or Wakanda Forever. It's like, Red Bull can wait. I'm going to do this movie right quick. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Red Bull can wait. Yeah. Yeah. I can wait. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I could do that another year. But I was training really, really hard to go to Red Bull um, the year I started filming. And I was like, I got the message for Black Panther. I was like, oh. but I, I was this close to like a dream of mine. But I, I just knew like I, I can't give up on that opportunity. No, I mean, look, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever is going to be a movie that people watch for 50 years. Yeah. Right. It, it came to you to say, hey, we, Gemini, we want you in this film. Red Bull will happen again next year, you know, yeah. <laughs> and you apply that. It'll happen again. Hey, Wakanda Forever. They're not going to remake Black Panther. Or Black. I mean, maybe, in, maybe in 50 years, you know, maybe when we're old and gray, they'll be like, you know. <laughs> let's redo let's, it. Let's redo it, though, you know, with our, with, uh, I don't know, some new technology or something, you know. <laughs> wow. So you, you're saying that you started training in about 
20, uh, 2016 or so, 2016, 2017. I started training about 28, 2016, but really seriously about like 20, 2018. Like 2016, I was just like playing around, messing around, but like 2018, I was like, oh, I'm taking this series from now. Uh huh. And training for you, tell me what that looks like. When you say I'm, I'm training, what, what is a typical day of training or what's your mindset or what are you trying to learn? How are you trying to progress? Explain that to me. So usually I'll go either outside or to the gym. I always make sure I stretch like 15, 30 minutes because my body is, it won't work unless it's stretched out. But I usually before I go, I'll watch hardcore videos or I will make a list of moves that I want and I'll go and I'll watch tutorials on them, see how other people break it down. I go and try to break it down myself. Just like, like me training, I'm, I'm trying to learn as many new skills as I can or trying to do as many lines as I can to try to get competition ready, basically. Mm. Well, it sounds like, and, and I checked out your Instagram and, you know, there's like individual clips where you'd be doing a flip, right? And then there's mm -hmm. lines that you do. So do you see those as two different things or how do you view those in terms of your training approach? Big moves versus lines. I feel like I'm probably more big move oriented. I just mm. like doing big moves. I like the feeling of it. But also, I really focus on big moves because I want to put them in line eventually. I kind of try to put them together. Like I, I have more sessions where I'm focused on learning big moves, but it's because like later on I want to be able to put them in lines and be able to like make a really crazy, amazing line. 